video, we're going to discuss the debt snowball and debt repayment plan. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Tasha and welcome to my channel. Now in my last video, we did a budget with me and I, where I went through my budget. But today, we're going to go over the debt repayment plan. Now drop down in the description where you can get my budget and debt repayment template. And we can go through the debt repayment template together. Now, when you're talking about debt, do you put good versus bad debt? You know, for instance, say like a house, a mortgage. I would say a house would be good debt because if I sold my house right now, I would be able to take the equity, what I made from the house. I could pay my student loans. You can buy maybe a smaller property or put money down for another property. You could invest the money. There are so many things that you could do with that lump sum of money so that that could be considered good debt to me, a house. Now, bad debt, you, some might say student loans are bad debt, <laughs> but I say, I say they're good, you know, depending on the day, I might say they're bad, but no, I, I say student loans are good. If you can, you know, get a return on your investment, then I would say that it's a good debt, but bad debt could be considered like credit cards. Maybe you might consider a car loan bad debt. But who knows? Everybody thinks of debt in a different way. But what we're going to be talking about today is doing a debt repayment plan. Within this debt repayment plan, you know, I'm going to put my student loans on there. I'm going to put my credit card on there. And I'm going to put my car loan on there. Now, with credit card debt, I think that there is a way for you to be able to use credit cards in a good way. Now, I'm not going to say that I've always done it that way, but over the past like four to five years, I have been able to use my credit card like my debit card and pay the credit card off bi-weekly or monthly, but I pay it off before the next month. Now, if you can do that, that's a good way to be able to leverage, you know, the points, the cash back or whatever perks that you are going to be getting with the credit cards. But say me like 10 years ago, if you're paying interest on credit cards, then that's a bad debt. You want to kind of get out of that cycle. But I know for, I would say for myself, it takes you, especially if you haven't grown up, knowing how to use credit cards in a good way it can kind of take you like a cycle to be able to get out of that and that's where i'm at now okay now before we get into the actual debt repayment plan go down to the description and get the budget and debt repayment worksheet and we can go through it together now let's go into my computer okay we're taking a look at the debt repayment worksheet and it's broken down into a couple different parts so first we have the month it is july 2020 then we have it in different columns so first we have the debtor we have the amount we have the interest rate and then we have how much is your minimum payment then when you go down to the bottom you have the totals and you have a note page so let's get into putting in the information okay so i have input my information onto the debt repayment worksheet and i put my smallest to largest debts and so I have my Bank of America credit card, I got my car loan, and I got my student loans. So taking a look at my Bank of America credit card, now that is at a 0% interest rate. And I want to say that that term ends um, January 2021, but I think I'm going to go ahead and pay it off now. That way I can be done with it. But looking at my last video where i told you bank of america because i had two bank of america credit cards and so one they closed without even letting me know and that had been paid off for a while and i hadn't used it and so now i'm kind of scared to pay this one off even though it's only 500 dollars because i don't want them to close the account but i'm gonna think about what i'm gonna do but for now we're just gonna do the debt snowball piece of it so I owe $500, but my minimum balance is only $25. Now, when you're looking at doing your debt repayment and your debt snowball, so I told you in one of my other last videos that I had paid over $5,000 worth of credit card debt in three months. And 
with the one it was one credit card and i want to say that the monthly payment on that was maybe like 115 dollars and so what i could do i could take the 115 dollars from there add it to this 25 dollar payment and then i could pay it down but from my um budget with me video i said that i had a little bit of money left over from my last check so i think i'm gonna go ahead and pay the 500 dollars off and then we would just move to the car loan so when you're doing your debt snowball you just you know pay off the smallest once that one pays off then you go to your second and then you take that money and you put it on your second debt and then you make that a larger payment and then that's how you get the snowball going so i'm gonna take the money from the other credit card that i had paid off 115 dollars put it on this 25 but i think i'm gonna pay it off so then for my car my stretch goal was to pay it off by the end of the year so now I can put the 25, then I can put the 115, and then plus my car, the note is 260. So I think that'll be about $400. So then I'll pay $400 a month. And the good thing about doing your debt snowball, you know, and when you do your budget along with it, let's see if I can find any additional money to go along with that. And then that's how I can get it paid off more. Because if I want to get it paid off by the end of the year, I think the payment is going to be about $700. So if I'm paying $400, that means I need an additional $300 to pay it off. And so we can get it going faster and then I'll put it on my student loans. So after you get all your debts onto the worksheet, you put in your amount, your interest rate and your monthly payments. Look to see how you can, you know, gain that traction on your debt snowball. Then you can just tally it up and, you know, put any notes to say, okay, do I have any goals that I have? For my debt repayment plan am i gonna get any lump sums of money maybe within the month or something those are the kind of notes that you can put on your sheet the main thing is to get all of your debts so if you need to go and get your uh, credit report so that you can know everybody that you owe along with what are your monthly payments how much do you owe in total what are your interest rates it's always good to get your annual credit report at least once a year and then i can say with say like my chase a lot of times you can um go on there and look at your report it's not as in depth as it is on your annual credit report but it'll break down you know how much you owe you can also get your credit score from either your credit card or your banking you know that's really readily available these days and so before you actually write it on the plan it's always good to just make sure you have all the information so that you're not leaving anything out and that'll give you a more accurate financial debt repayment plan and so that you can start all right guys i hope that that was helpful for you drop that in the comments and let me know are you going to be working on your debt repayment plan you know i think this is an amazing time for us to get our finances in order you know we have a little bit more time while we're at home so let's see how we can level up our life is that going to be you know exercising is that going to be cleaning the house getting your finances in order reading more books you know whatever what you can think of let's just see about using our time wisely all right now please like subscribe share thank you so much for watching peace it's not a game,